Hello and welcome back to RC Icons. So in this video, a surprise. Usually when I get set up to film a video, I know it's in the box. But this one, I honestly don't. And it's not a channel donation. I paid money for this box. <laughs> so the story goes like this. You all know I'm addicted to Bayi. There was an RC lot that came up and it was just a parts lot. And <laughs> it had a bunch of pictures of parts. And I must have seen something in there that interested me because I ended up bidding on this. Now, I have to confess, when I did bid on it, I had no clue how much stuff there was. So the point of this video is I need you guys to tell me if it was worth the $64 I paid for this box, or is it just garbage? Now, I have a feeling that a lot of these parts are going to be new and packed parts for cars I don't even know existed. Um, it's going to be completely random. I've got no clue what I'm going to do with all the stuff. Um, there's no plan. <laughs> this is just a, hey, you won the auction, and I was like, okay, what did... What What is this? When did I bid on it? I honestly don't even remember throwing a bid in. So let me bring the camera over and we'll dive into this. But this is kind of going to be new to me just like it is you. Um, and if there's something in here that you see that you need, don't hesitate to email me. Because I'll just give it to you. There's a ton of stuff in here. I'm going to try to figure out what it is I saw that made me go after it. If I remember correctly... I believe there was Harobo parts. I believe there was AYK parts. I think there's Marui parts. There's Yokomo parts. And I know for sure there's Tamiya parts. Hardware, stuff like that, I know I can use. Vintage hardware, any kind of hardware. But when it comes to like motor mounts or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. Or like a Yokomo that is newer age. That's just not stuff I'm going to end up using. So let me bring the camera over and we'll dive into this and we can see how stupid I really am. <laughs> All right, so the box is good sized box. It's probably 20 inches across, 14 inches tall, 14 inches wide. And I opened it, but I didn't, I haven't really started looking at it. And I mean, it is full of parts. So those look like dog bones for like a falcon. And I think it's packed in layers from what I could see. So we've got AYK RX-1200 thrust bearings. GT500, Yokomo GT500 plastic parts. MR4TC pulley, looks like. Potentially a ball diff. Drive pins. Formula 001. YF24 ROP. Large diameter hard spring for YRF001. There's a couple of those. Tamiya hard hardware bags. That's a vintage one. I, I know there's a bunch of these in here. Formula 001 axles, maybe? Kind of sucks that Yokomo doesn't. Steering bushings and screws, carbon for a GT05F, Thundershot joint cup set, the Tamiya ones, don't, they don't tell you what, uh, it's like kingpins, ball ends, I'm going to have to sort this out by manufacturer, C-clips, AYK C-clips, Rainbow Products. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for. It's like some kind of a clip system. 
This looks like maybe belt cranks for a GT500. AYK bearing. Hard spike set. I think you glue these on to like spikes. Tire spikes. More AYK C clips. GT500. I'm assuming it's like a motor mount. I know there's a couple of those in there. So we're going to have to separate Yokomo from AYK from everything else. Some kind of a flanged AYK. Bushing. Yokomo diff gears for a GT500. Formula One, whatever that is. Another black motor mount. These are alloy, by the way. Formula One. Formula One Yokomo. If you guys have another one of those clip systems. If you guys have one of these cars, you have to email me. A B-Max tube motor mount. Whatever the hell that is. Those look like shock towers. So maybe an on-road car. Uh, 017C. I love all the Tamiya hardware. I bet that alone is going to make make my not make my money back because I'm not looking to make my money back. But that's what's going to justify this in my head. A YD2 YD4 foam bumper. More of these little springs for whatever the hell they're for. So an SD501 SA looks like diff cups maybe. Pinion. Uh, I'm not sure what that is from Kyosho. Set of Team Yokomo foam tires. Hot bodies front one way diff set for a cyclone. Yokomo MR4 TC direct main gear adapter. More Yokomo uprights. Rear hub carrier of caliper for a YD2. I'd get comfortable because this another diff for a cyclone. This may take a while. The Kyosho parts too. All I got is part numbers. MW23. And a line 122. Looks like some kind of a spur. It's for a helicopter. I knew there was helicopter parts in here. More Yokomo drive pins, drive pins, another motor mount for Formula One. Team Associated, 2.5 by 6 millimeter. RC10 B5, RC18 B2, RC10 B4.4 O-rings. That's the first, that's the first flake. Some wheels, some tire foams. Oh my word, Keith, what did you do? Swing shaft protector. Squirt Precision looks like balls for maybe a ball diff. Six ceramic coated balls. A team associated blue anodized ball ends. Five millimeter ball cups, Tamiya. 
two millimeter Eclipse. A couple of bags of those. MR4 TC made by Spice. Some kind of alloy part. I think it's Yokomo. TB04 gear diff bevel unit. TA06 lightweight main shaft. Those look like balloons. Spare parts. Oh, it's for your electrics. Rubber bag set. Sponge tape for urethane bumper. TRF 418 E parts. TRF 415 1510 bearing holders. Swing shaft caps, battery straps, damper tube shaft, twelve R five point two. Not sure what that is. TA04 ball diff plate, three by eight titanium countersunk screws. See, this is that's the hardware that's gonna do this for me here. Maybe it was just the hardware. TB03 fluorine coated ball head kingpins. Uh, TA06 cross shaft for gear diff. 3x10 socket head that are blue. Tamiya. TM07 concept low friction kingpins. I've got a diff here. TT01 G parts. Got some Tammy, uh, they look like bushes, but they've got a hex on the outside. So I'm not quite sure what that is. And then thick foams. And then there's a set of foam tires. They look like fronts for like a two wheel drive. Not really sure what that's about. Third flake, we've got a D-like, drift stage D-like, looks like a urethane bumper. Four-wheel drive mini racer, winning bird formula clear body set. Wow, I never realized how small those things were. More Eclipse. O-rings for dampers, oil dampers, more O-rings for gear diff units, TRF. Looks like we've got lighting wire from Tamiya. I'm going to run out of room on my bench here. 18T top plate associated. More of the associated ball cups. Much more racing, instant fine pro extension type two. Uh, if my world champion, it looks like it's a tube cover. We got an 18 tooth, oh, 18 T 11 tooth pinion gear. We've got some more differential ball plates and some more urethane hyperline lipo protective bag so we got a lipo bag we've got more sponge wide inner sponge set hard that's junk we've got those are just servo servo ends Herobo metal clutch bell lining must be a friction lining. TB0406 module spur gear, 62 6 tooth. 18T spur gear, 60 tooth. Some more of them Tamiya bushing slash nuts. A couple more sets of foam wheels that are 12 millimeter hex. 
Are they drift? Oh, they might be drift. They feel like they're hard plastic. So yeah, they're probably drift wheels. Some decals. Parma. 4x4 four four decal set. I bet they had a field day trying to find all the oil and grease in this box. Cozy shims, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3, 6 millimeter shims. More O rings. Uh, drift stage belt, D like belt. Eagle small Euro screw connector. Not really sure what that is. These look like resistors or something. There's a couple of them. It's definitely an electrical component. I don't know. Chinese something or other. PS Herobo PS adjuster stopper. Whatever that is. More drift wheels. Hardware parts. 7.8 taper hard ball studs, Kyosho. Pow wow, 12.5. I have no clue what that is. Again, some of this stuff is probably wheel holder, natural sets. No idea. Another clutch bell thing. Aerials. Gotta have aerials. What is this? It's got a ball in it. Not sure. There's red ones, green ones. Not sure what they are. It's almost like a weighted ball. No idea. Kyosho 11 millimeter pillow ball. Oh, we got all kinds of aluminum shafts. So here comes helicopter parts, I think. Not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. I feel like helicopter shafts. KDS? Yeah, this is helicopter for sure. They're like weighted. That well, looks like, yeah, that's an upper assembly there. Squash plate. With a belt. USB cord. Must be a tail section. Tiny little motor on that. Yeah, I think that's all helicopter stuff. Should probably keep that separate. Try to, anyways. It's probably a reason why they have it separated the way that they do. Blades. I'll have to stand up. I should really put those look like Tamiya gaskets right there. I may uh Get a box to put this in. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, 
Oops, sorry for nudging the camera. Helicopter parts. Dean Stye C5. That's good to have. Electrics, some wires, carbon fiber rod of some type. I think there's a reason all that was together. We'll call that miscellaneous helicopter parts. All right, here we go. Ready for some wheels and tires. Got some looks like crawler wheels with foams, probably like a 1.9. Nothing wrong with those. And then we've got some foams, we've got some on road tires. So there is a set of four of those. More helicopter parts, T-Rex and Align parts. Put those with the helicopter stuff. Oh, I dropped one. So that's a set of four. We've got those other foam ones. White ones. That's a Tamiya black 201 wheel and tire. And then we've got a pile of these white ones. They're all 12 millimeter. It's like three sets. Not sure if that's a motor for a mini. It's a brushless motor. Some site. 3000 KB. Radio control parts. LMK. I'm not sure what that is. That might be for nitro. We got setting springs. Tamiya setting springs for on road cars. We've got some kind of electronics. Universal glow plug. That's going to be for a nitro. Holy smokes. Uh, okay. Brushed ESC. Profi. Whatever that is. Rear spoiler for something. Carbon chassis. Let me know in the comments if you know what these are for. That almost looks like it's for like a F1 car. Another rear spoiler. More springs. We've got arms of some sort with hinge pins. But it's not labeled. Uh, servo horn, body clips, and a pinion. Spare parts for something. Not quite sure. There's a couple bearings in there. There is a ton of lights, like headlight buckets. I'm not sure what they're for, but there is a ton of them. Let's see if we can get all these out. That's probably going to be G. 
junk. Hard plastic drift wheel. Headlight bucket still on the tree. Let's say who makes it. Pulleys, some kind of a, looks like a bunch of pulleys, or like a belt drive, These look like uprights for something, shock parts, that's a helicopter part, those pulleys might be for helicopters for two for all I know. Hey, we got a cross wrench. Tool bag of some sort. More headlight buckets. Some 3M tape. Another headlight bucket. All kinds of uh, JIC hardware. Looks like 3x8 millimeter. Still pulling out headlight buckets. More hardware. Tapered head. Those look like 3x10. 3x10. More headlight buckets. Some sort of hinge pins. bunch of looks like five millimeter ball ends in here that could be handy couple of pinion gears oh we've got an animal guard I was actually looking for one of these for my King Hauler chrome build is it metal it is metal I always thought they were uh, just plastic No, they're metal. Awesome. Maybe that's what I saw. A couple more drift tires. Looks like another set. I never realized how heavy drift tires were. E Station LiPo Charger. Lipo charger that you can hook up to a battery, I guess. I've well, never seen one. Never seen one like that, I should say. Some rear spoilers. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Spoiler. Wing mirrors. More associated ball ends, more spoilers. Sorry guys, this is probably really boring for you, but this is my life. I do stupid stuff like this all the time. Heat tape, some kind of bushings. Multifunction charger. Like another lipo li-fi nicad the problem is you have to have some kind of balance leads or you have to have the the uh output plugs oh there's the balance port right there balance port and then you have to just use get some output out port output plugs
We got a driver figure of some sort, a head at least. Doesn't look like Tamiya, it might be Kyosho. Some wing nuts. A couple of 540 Mabuchi motors. Some washers and various stuff stuck to it. This one's actually got a C-clip hanging out inside it. Put those right in the drawer. Uh, gear differential putty. From Tamiya, whatever that is. Brand new container of it. More motors. I hate that there's... Uh, these actually look like the thrust washers for like a MDC gearbox so four silver can motors more headlight buckets there's the last tire for that set what do we got three of these what's this one no, that's the fourth one for that set so we've got a Futaba Megatech 2PL radio. Some carbon fiber stuff, probably for a helicopter. We've got a blazer. It says TAO2 F103 GT. Eight batteries. That's crazy. We've got an M7. That one's running crystal. Shawana. M7. The other one's a Shawana as well. Team Atlas quick charger. <laughs> I don't know that I'd call it a quick charger anymore. And then... Uh, Super NICAD battery quick charger. These are all just like the old school plug-in type. Like that's old right there. Cigarette lighter style. And then... No idea what that is. Receiver port. Not sure what that is. It's got a Tamiya plug on it. On off switch. Looks like it might be for like lights or something. Oh, you know what? It's for this. To power your uh, receiver. I might need that for the Kyosho pickup. We've got some CBA short shocks. Look like touring car shocks. Couple more wires. We got a mechanical speed control. We've got T Rex thrust bearing. Nitro Power 700. So I hate to say it, but a lot of this stuff might just get trashed, which is fine. More light buckets. One wheel. <laughs> it's the only wheel like it. So this is a purple, purple and blue resistor style mechanical speed control. We'll keep that because that's Tamiya. And then I'll keep this. So you guys will have to tell me in the comments if it was worth. For sixty four dollars, was this pile of garbage? 
<laughs> Worth 64 bucks. I am going to... Jeez, I don't even know what to do with this stuff. I should probably just start tossing it now. Um, I guess I need to pick through this. Let me change the camera for a closing, because a lot of this I'm just going to toss. There's so many wings. It's got to be 20 spoilers here, all different shapes. But there's not, there's no mounts. There's like one mount. I think that's the only mount. Which is, you know. What, you got to find the car that that fits? Voltex? Approved by Voltex? The hardware is worth something to me though. Those tiny little screws. And then these totally look like they're like rear diffusers. There's two of them brand new. So yeah, let me get the camera moved over for a closing. And uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do with all this stuff. I like the animal guard. I like some of the hardware. I think a lot of it's going to get tossed though. So hold on a second. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. You guys will have to tell me in the comments what you think of my $64 purchase. If there's anything you saw that you want, <laughs> if I still have it by the time you, this video goes out, and you message me, I guess I can send it to you. But a lot of this is going to get trashed just because I do not need it and I do not have room for it. Um, and if I don't have room for it, then that's it. Those are some standoffs for the diffusers. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of my uh, ridiculous purchase here. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to support the channel. Brand new drift tires. If you guys are into drifting, let me know. I won't toss those. The foams are pretty well beat. So yeah, I'll have to go through all this and figure it out. There's only three of those. <laughs> Foams, foams, foams. I mean, they're obviously, it's good for like racing and stuff, but it's not stuff I use. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I guess, thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> it's a $64 purchase. I'm going to take about eight things out of this. That's it. So uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>